Cool. Uh, good morning. I think it's still morning. Good morning, everyone. From a snowy bista, as you can see by my attire, and hopefully the ground and the sleet around me. It's very wintry British weather. If I can wander over to here, as you can see. So this is the Nine Works stand. We are at the Porsche Club GB Christmas party. This is the Nine Works stand. I want to walk you through some of the cars that are on the Nine Works stand. So these are all Nine Works Patreons, and I'm standing in front of Guy. Let me spin you around. I'm standing in front of Guy in his GT3 to stop him going because he guy's going to brave the cold. So I'm going to walk you through some of the cars on the Patreon stand while we wave goodbye to Guy. Ask Geez on Instagram. Rothman's livery, everyone knows this car. If you've never seen this car before, then you've never been on social media. It's as simple as that. So Guy's going home, uh, which is fair play. First of all, I'm going to walk you through some of these cars. So before I do, I want to explain. So this stand that we've got here is all for Nine Works Patreons. And these are guys and girls that support Nine Works Radio podcast via a monthly subscription. We don't ask people to do it. They do it out of their own kindness, really. And we like to give a little back in return. We're going to expand a bit more of that next year. So keep peeled on Nine Works. But basically, the membership will get you a few choice extras throughout the year to help you further your Porsche experience. So we're on this stand today. I'm going to walk you through some of the cars because there's some really cool cars. And uh, then I'll show you inside at this Porsche Club GB Christmas party a little later. So we'll start. The cars are in order of model year. So we're going to start with the newest. So 992 Turbo S in Ruby Star. Paint sample, of course, owned by the 911 Goat, Mr. Paul Pressland, Mr. Porsche. It's got the aero kit on as well. Again, Paul, Paul has done some serious miles on that. Min, morning, mate. Hope you're well. Evening from Oz. Nice. Hi, Adam. Nice to see you. So, yeah, look, um, this car isn't pink. It's Ruby Star. As I say, paint to sample. It's uh, inspired by the Ruby Stone, of course, from the 964 RS back in the day. But again, Paul has done some serious mileage uh, in this car since he got it at the start of this year. Really, really cool. And obviously, as part of the Nine Works clan, this car is very much driven, not hidden. We move on. So from 992... We've missed out 991 generation entirely today, but we've got 997.2 C2S, owned by Mark, obviously repping Nine Works as you would. Really nice with the aero kit and the LED lights, which are optional, of course, on Gen 2. This is a really, really nice car. 997.2s, it's funny, obviously, when they were launched, just coming out of the financial crisis of 2008, Obviously, because of that, there aren't too many 997.2s kind of kicking around the place. They're a really, really good car. Really good car. Uh, Nordman, how do we sign up for uh, the Patreon account and what's the cost? Uh, go to the Nineworks website, click on any of the podcast episodes, and there's a link at the bottom. As I say, it's to support the podcast. Going forward, we're going to do some more stuff. We're going to grow it to support the club generally so we can do bits and pieces like that. In any case, we've got another 997.2 C2S, obviously, aero kit, flat back, non-aero kit, PCCBs, rare on the C2S, it has to be said. This is a really cool car. Uh, with what looks like 991 front lip on that, don't know if that is or not. So look, same era, same car, essentially C2S, but very different. Then we've got, of course, the forced induction, 997 Turbo. These are such good value for money. This is a particularly special car. It's got an amazing spec, look, ceramics, as with the 997 C2S, but on the Turbo ceramics there. This is a Gen 1. I mean, you will have seen the 996 Turbo video I dropped on IMAX TV last week, and I was saying how epic value for money they are. These are the same, and actually, the front axle on these 997 turbos are a step on over the 996. It's just a little bit more direct. So it's my good friend Nigel's car. And as I say, that is a real stunner. Look at that. Manual as well. Not too many 997 turbos in manual. Oh, yeah. So my good friend uh, Alex Brody with his 996 C4S. So we're on to a load of 996s now, of which I will not apologise for. Wide body 996. I've gone on about how lovely these cars are before. This is another lovely example of it. In case you don't know what 9 works is, hey? <laughs> 
soon going to be covered in snow. Uh, any case, Paul van der Loen. So this is a narrow body car, but as you can see, it has the wide bodied C4S bumper on it. Really cool. It's got side skirts as well. It's kind of inspired by the 996 40th anniversary. It's not a 40th anniversary. It's Paul's interpretation of it. It's seal grey, not GT silver for a start. But again, really cool on that. Then we've got, look at this, 996 Turbo, Lapis Blue. You should recognise this car from my most recent uh, video on Nine Watch TV. Dropped last Sunday, talking about the 996 Turbo. Owned by my good friend, Ed. This is said car. And it is a beauty. And it is getting covered in snow. As we can see, Ed is repping. That is the 996 Turbo. Now, this is another car from a previous video I did, and this is one of my favorite cars here, owned by Andy Morehouse, 996 CSR Evo. Go on Nineworks TV, hunt out my video on this car, because this is one of the most visceral 996 driving experiences I've ever had. I drove it through the city of London, and then went to Wales in it, and it did not disappoint. It sounds amazing, it's got RPM Technics, uh, bespoke center exit CSR exhaust on it. The chassis is amazing. It was helped, um, or the guys at Cat Driver Training over at Millbrook helped develop the chassis on it. It is absolutely exquisite. Of course, it's got the ducktail like mine. This is the evolution on where the brake, third brake light is gone, and it's got those extra, extra vents there. So it is that's a step on from from my ducktail, which I'll talk about briefly in a bit. But yeah, this car, and again repping nine works these stickers you can't buy by the way we give them out for free if you purchase something from the nine works shop from the exclusives cool pasha interior there we go if you can see in there proper job the color in case you're wondering it's not a porsche color it's audi merlin purple but yeah, that is a seriously, seriously cool car and a real rival to a 996 GT3 in terms of driving experience, if not value. And I still stand by that a couple of years on after I did the video. Mark Willis with his 996.1. This is a beautiful car. The paint on it is absolutely immaculate, by the way. I can't remember what color this is. Mark, you're gonna tell me off that I can't remember. But a really, really nice, well cared for exemplary 996.1 C4. Another common theme here, Mark repping Nine Works, which we're grateful for. This green banger, you see enough of that? Or have you? I don't know, you tell me. Cheeky bit of rear camber, you can see there. Really, really pleased with the stance on this car. I am gonna change it up a bit next year, if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, more on that another time. Then we go over, so it's another amber lens car owned by Toby. Another Nine Works Patreon, no, as I say, amber lens, narrow body, 996.1 Carrera. The quintessence of the early air cool cars. Manual, Alcantara covering on the shifter, pretty cool. And then we finish, fittingly, at the end of the stand with the Nine Works flag. Obviously, it's not in model year, this car. If I'm totally honest with you, when I put the stand together, I forgot about it. So we've put it on the end, but I'm going to finish with this because it's got a Christmas tree in it. And it is the Christmas event for Porsche Cars Great Britain. Uh, we're really, really grateful to the guys and girls here for giving us our stand. As you can see, full of Nine Works Patreons. As I said, if you'd like to join the Patreon account and or become a Nine Works Patreon, you do get some extra bits and pieces thrown in throughout the years. We like to look after you as our way of saying thanks to you for supporting us. I'm going to talk about this more on next week's podcast, but Nineworks is all self-funded. So to have people voluntarily supporting us, we really appreciate it. It just helps us do more and hopefully give you more as well. I'll finish off, or I'll do another live later on from inside the hangar which is where there's some serious Porsche metal. But considering it's, I think, minus three here, and some of the guys and girls here have driven up in sub-zero temperatures for a lot of hours, it just goes to show you how strong passion is for these cars. It finishes a pretty good year for us, 2022. Lots happened, Nine Works grew, the community grew, lots going on around it. And 2023 is going to be even bigger. 60 years of 911, 75 years of Porsche, lots of Nine Works events to help celebrate all of that. 
so yeah that's just a little video to show you what we were doing barry shine totally nuts going out in this weather yeah agreed agreed not looking forward to the journey back but yeah as i said if you've supported nineworks in any way this year with any like comment subscribe purchase of cars or products or reading of any articles listening to any podcasts you've all helped so thank you really appreciate that enjoy your sunday we'll see you soon